Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead. And in this video, we're talking air conditioning, more specifically off-grid air conditioning. Can it be done? Should it be done? Is it efficient? We're gonna talk about all of that coming right up, so let's get to it. Now, I have seen several different devices that claim to be air conditioners that you can use with 12 volt system or are super efficient. And so I decided I'm gonna go ahead and weed through these guys and, and, and figure out which one might work for a low budget. Does it work? Is it effective? Is it efficient? Yada, yada, yippee, skippy. We're gonna get right to that. I'm gonna show you what I built. We're gonna talk about it. Really super cool. But before we do, I actually got one little kind of a PSA announcement. Uh, there's a fella from a band um, that's been making comments on, on my page and uh, their, their band is in need. And it's a band called Ollie Take Cover. O-L-L-I-E Take Cover. And they have a, they have a YouTube page and I, I just wanted you to know about this because it's kind of an interesting and unusual request. I think they're some kind of a, a polka band, I guess, because they're in need of a tuba player. So if you are a tuba player or know of a tuba player, um, go on over there and check out their stuff. I'm not gonna say they're like a midlife crisis band because frankly, these guys are way too old for that. But anyway, PSA done, let's get to the build. Let me show you what I built and then we're gonna talk about it. So take a look at what we have here. You've probably seen online some of these redneck AC units where they basically take an old you know, cooler you got your battery bank, a regular DC fan, and then you can hook a switch on there, and it's gonna blow ice. I'm gonna show you the inside of this, but uh, I wanna show you how effectively it works, and then we're gonna talk a little bit, but let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you the inside now. Okay, so let's take a peek under the hood, so to speak. Now, one of the things that I did differently in my design is I took a piece of plastic and I cut it out. There's a little ridge here, and what that does is when this fan is blowing the air, it makes it, it forces the fan to keep the air on these frozen bottles. Now the reason why I chose frozen bottles, I've seen other guys who will just have a big hunk of ice in here and they force the air down on it and then out. Uh, but I don't want to have to clean this thing out every time I use it and make a big massive hunk of ice. I do think that would be more efficient, but this is a lot easier because I can just pull a bunch of these out of the freezer, throw them in, and they works. Now, one other thing though, you see how I kind of just threw these in here all willy-nilly? That is not how I'm gonna end up doing it, ultimately. This is just, I did this as a test, a kind of proof of concept kind of thing. Ultimately, I'm gonna want them standing upright, poking through this plastic for a bunch of different reasons. One is it'll hit more surface area of the cold ice and the water on its way out, so it'll cool the air better but also too, it'll keep them from sloshing around and I'll be able to put more in here, which will make for a cooler air and longer lasting, yay, yeah. So now I'm imagining, you're saying to yourself, Brad, that's pretty cool, but does this thing really work? Why don't I just show you? Okay, now in this highly, highly unscientific uh, test, <laughs> You can see that it says that it is 85 degrees here. We are in the shade uh, under an overhang. So it's kind of a hot day. That's just the temperature on the table. Now, we're gonna look in here and see what we got without the fan going. Inside there, whoo, a little shaky. 38 degrees, uh, when I'm hitting the spot, on goes the fan. Purr, baby, purr. I can clearly feel nice cold air coming out of here. That is interesting. Let's see, let's get this thing going again. Come on. Now one other thing to note before we go into chat mode is this, that I, I hooked this up to a regular old, you know, 12 volt battery. And uh, if this battery is true indeed, it, this'll run for days. The ice will be melted long before the battery gives out. And, but I also put a car plug on there so that you could plug this into the car or use it in an off-grid situation out wherever you're at. And uh, so let me tell you what my thoughts are after doing all this. All right, people. So here it is. After I've done some tinkering with this thing and playing with this thing, here are my thoughts. Now, first off, is this gonna cool off a whole house? Absolutely not, no way, no how. 
Would it cool off a room that's say 12 by 12 or a smaller enclosed space shed off grid palace? Yeah, probably. Um, when I did, uh, you know, experimenting with it, it would take, um, you know, the bottles would last, oh, psh, you know, four hours before it really wasn't cooling very well anymore. So um, the real trick is having enough electricity to freeze your bottles. So my recommendation would be you do it during peak times of the day that you want to be comfortable. And then I think it's a very, very doable thing. For example, if you, if you know you're gonna be out working during the day, you don't need to cool your house during the day. You'll let fans do that or vent the house somehow or shed or whatever it is that you have. Uh, but you may want to have a more comfortable sleeping arrangement. So you might turn the thing on at say eight o'clock and let it just run, run, run until it cools off the place and then you, you have a nice comfortable sleeping area. I think that is a very viable option for that. Now, another thing that's really funny is that my car doesn't have AC. So I throw this in the back of the seat and it's cool as a cucumber in there. Lasts a long time, works great. One other thing, another word on the bottles. I, I chose the bottles because I don't wanna to have to empty this thing out and clean it again and again and again. The bottles you just throw into the freezer and you replace them with ones that you've already frozen. So, and besides, everybody knows a full freezer is more efficient, it doesn't have to use as much electricity, yada yada yippee skippy. So, there it is, there's my opinion on what this can and cannot do. I do believe that it is a, a neat little gizmo that you should probably try for yourself. And with all that said, please, subscribe, like, pass the video around, I greatly, greatly appreciate it, my family does too. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.